Hello, this is the Knowledge Catalog and we are featuring another video, a uh, topic under the Biological Sciences. This is actually my advanced uh, video lesson for my grade 9 students this coming uh, school year and I'll be using this to discuss the first learning competency for grade 9 biology and it is as follows. Explain how the respiratory and circulatory systems work together to transport nutrients, gases, and other molecules to and from the different parts of the body. Particularly, you are going to need your learner's module, uh, preferably uh, the a printed one or, you know, if you don't have one, then I can provide you with a soft copy. In Unit 1, Module 1, pages 13 to 15. If you are a fellow science teacher in the Philippines, I can share with you this uh, PowerPoint pres presentation. Just uh, tell me. Um, send me a message through my Facebook page. It is in facebook.com forward slash knowledge catalog forward slash. Let's begin. As usual, in this series, we are go We are actually having uh, a series, in case you are not uh, aware. So this is a part of the series, okay? Uh, we are always dividing the video into three parts, into three uh, particular activities. So the first one is that we're going to have a discussion about the pulmonary, coronary, and uh, systemic circuits. I hope that you are not going to uh, be confused uh, with that word systemic, okay? It is a correct word. It, we, are, we are not going to discuss systematic circuit. No, there is no such thing as systematic circuit in uh, the circulatory system. The second part is where it's going to be an activity. Activity number four, uh, let's organize. That is its uh, title. Actually, it's more appropriate to call it Let's Organize because meron siyang exclamation point. Well, I hope it's not like said in a way that it sounds mad or, you know, galette. And then the last part is going to be a discussion about the human heart. Let's begin with the first part. So as you can see here in this illustration, we see um, the heart and then uh, the lungs. And then there are some arrows. Um, blue, that blue part of the heart is uh, connected to the blue, um, what seems like a blood vessel. And then it is going towards the lungs. And uh, as you can see, the red blood vessel is the source of, uh, you know, something towards the red part of the heart. This first uh, type of circulation is called the pulmonary circulation. Pulmonary circulation is the movement of blood from the heart towards the lungs and back to the heart. So as you can see here, um, ganun exactly ang nangyayari. From the heart, uh, that the oxygenated blood is going to go towards the uh, lungs. So the, the oxygenated the, the oxygenated blood will be coming from this part of the heart towards the lungs and then from the alveoli, um, that blood's carbon dioxide is going to be, you know, carried out of the uh, body and then in exchange, there will be oxygen to make again the blood you know, rather, and then that is that blood will be carried by the arteries towards the heart. Ayan. So, um, ganun yung pulmonary circulation. The second type of circulation involves uh, these blood vessels here. So, yeah, the familiar aorta, which is the biggest artery, is right here. But we are now going to uh, talk about these arteries. We have uh, the left main coronary artery. It is this one. The circumflex coronary artery right here. And then uh, we have here the right coronary artery this one and then the left anterior descending coronary artery it's right here so they these are the blood vessels responsible for the coronary circulation coronary circulation is the movement of blood through the tissues of the heart well um you are we are always thinking of the heart kasi as the pumping organ it is responsible for the uh, transport of blood towards the different parts of the body even to the lungs and you know that has been its uh, function, that has been the uh, identity of the heart for us. But we have to always think that the part is also, the, the heart is also part of our body. So yeah, it also needs its own, uh, its, its blood, the blood it's pumping, it also needs that. And how does it support itself? How does it give blood to itself? It is through coronary circulation. That's the second one of the three. The last type of uh, 
you know, circulate of uh, circulation, blood circulation uh, by the circulatory system is the most common one from the heart towards the rest of the body. It's through systemic circulation. Again, it is the movement of blood from the heart to the rest of the body except for the lungs. Okay, so systemic circulation specifically is going to uh, just transport blood towards and from the all parts of the body except from the lungs. Because the lungs, it, it has its own circuit as it is uh, described here, its pulmonary circuit. So yeah, we're done with the first part, uh, the discussion, and I hope that uh, we have clarified uh, and we have uh, compared as well as uh, showed the contrast between these three kinds of uh, circulation, of blood circulation. Let us now move on to the second uh, part of our uh, uh, video, which is, which is an activity. Again, it is entitled, Let's Organize, because it has its uh, exclamation point. <laughs> okay, so uh, the objectives for, of this activity are as follows. We need to be able to identify the components of this circulatory system. So, what do we mean by a component? Are we referring to a process that is done by the circulatory system? Or are we referring to a, uh, you know, a part of the circulatory system? So, what do we mean? You'll be finding that out. And then explain the different types of circulation. So, I know that we have already talked about them, pero we are going to do this activity for us to know specifically, or siguro train, uh, what we know about them. Okay? So, we need to be able to explain them too, not just know them. Uh, for the materials, you need to have a copy of the graphic organizer. So, uh, in that case, you would need to uh, consult your learner's module. Again, you will be finding it uh, in page 14 of your learner's module, unit 1, module 1. Yeah, because we're going to use uh, 13, 14, 15. Remember, it is in the first uh, slide. All right, so I'll be, I'll be showing this to you part by part. So, we have here the circulatory system. Name its parts. How many parts do we have? There are three. So one part, it pumps blood throughout the body. So which part is that? And then the blood vessel, what are there? Uh, what, what should we put in, that, in this uh, box? So since these two are, they look like descriptions or functions. So what do you put here? Okay, you just have to figure that out. And then the last part, it carries materials throughout the body. In the case of blood vessels, what are the three types of blood vessels? Write them down. If I am being fast, of course, this is a video, so uh, you can just pause it, okay? Now, for the this last part, the part that carries materials throughout the body, uh, we are going to talk about circulation and the different types of circulation. How many types did we discuss so far? We have three, and I want you to differentiate them too. Do this on your study notebook and please label it Activity 4, Let's Organize. You may pause this video if you need some more time. Since you chose to continue this video, that means you're already through. Let's now proceed with the last part of this video, a discussion about the human heart. The human heart has four chambers. Actually, just two major chambers, and each of those two are divided into two. So, you know, two times two, four. Simple math. All right, so, the upper chambers are called the atria. That is, it's, that is the plural term for atrium. So, we have here the right atrium and the left atrium. Them, I, both of them, they comprise the atria, the upper part. Yeah. And then the lower, uh, the lower chambers. All right. So uh, we we actually have the lower chamber as uh, the ventricle, um, but we have uh, they're separated by a septum. So this is the septum in separation of that. Now um, because of that, we have here the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Okay, so your heart, anyway, uh, and I think this trivia is no longer new to you. It is about uh, the size of your fist, again. So, uh, the two receiving chambers are uh, these uh, two atria, and then the two pumping chambers are these uh, ventricles. 
some references actually are going to tell you that uh, both of them are uh, pumping and they're not actually uh, incorrect, okay? They're actually right about saying that. It's just that for this uh, video, I would like to emphasize that the uh, ventricles are doing the more, uh, uh, the more, um, Okay, ha, what you call it? You must matinde or uh, must prominent. Ayun, mas prominent na type of uh, pumping. Okay, because um, much most of the time the atria are just are are going to be uh, res the receiving part of the heart, but they are of course capable of pumping as well. Um, now. Um, why is it that despite the fact that a uh, person is going to be hanged upside down, why is it that he's not going to die? And you know, yun, diba? Uh, gravity plays a vital role as well with the uh, control of uh, all of the things biological, say even our blood circulation. Now, why is it that uh, hindi tayo not with an increasing uh, gravitational pull or with weightlessness. It's because our blood circulation and the way it goes, the direction with which it goes, is carefully, carefully maintained by these valves. So these valves are like uh, one-way doors that prevent the backflow of blood. Again, they prevent the backflow of blood. When muscles on the top portion contract, such as uh, muscles right next to the atria, when they contract, the muscles at the bottom, they relax. And then, vice versa. Kapag siya naman yung nagko-contract, magre-relax ang nasa taas. Ayan. So, when the chamber contracts, it becomes smaller. By saying contract kasi, parang ini-squeeze niya yung blood. Okay? Paalis sa kanya. And in this case, kapag nag-squeeze ang atrium, ang mga atria na to, pag nag-squeeze sila, pupunta talaga yung blood, papunta, okay, papunta sa mga ventricles. And I hope that you get that. Uh, when it does that, it does that because of the direction with which the tricuspid valve and the mitral valve are oriented. Okay? I hope that you uh, get that. Okay, so, uh, and since the uh, pulmonary valve as well as the aortic valve are uh, oriented this way, kapag ito naman si ventricle, ang mga ventricles ang nag-contract, in-squeeze nila yung, ano, yung blood, hindi naman sila babalik dito sa mga atria. Pupunta sila dito because of these orientations for the valves. Ayan. So that is it for the last uh, part of our uh, video, which is the discussion regarding the human heart. So um, I hope that you were able to uh, learn something from this video and that we are, you remember that we are still trying to finish a uh, series here. So again, if you want to have a copy of this presentation, if you are a fellow teacher in the Philippines, a science teacher at that, you may contact me through my uh, Facebook page and the link is uh, right there in the very first slide, earlier part of this video. I hope I'll see you in the next uh, in the next one. The Knowledge Catalog is a brand being developed by yours truly. I'm a teacher creator and I am a high school science teacher in the Philippines and I love developing content that I find useful and needed to better my online instruction since I we are in the middle of the pandemic right now. Oh, God heal our land. Uh, I hope that if you find this video uh, good, you'll uh, give me some support by give, leaving a like or some positive comments and then, uh, you know, if you want to, subscribe to this channel. I hope I'll see you around.